I am pleased at this time as well to introduce a citation presented by State Representative Tina Pickett to Sergeant First Class Sean McGuire. In addition to serving as Grand Marshal, Sergeant First Class McGuire will be presented with the keys to the borough of Tawanda by Mayor Garrett Miller. A former resident of Tawanda, Sergeant First Class McGuire joined the United States Army in May 2000 and served two tours of duty in Iraq with the 18th Engineer Company 3rd Brigade 2nd Infantry Division, currently a member of the 3rd Battalion. 364th Regiment Engineers, he has received numerous awards throughout his military career, including four Purple Hearts, the Silver Star, two Bronze Stars, and the Army Commendation Medal for Valor. Sergeant First Class McGuire wears his uniform proudly. He brings proficiency and expertise to his challenging assignments, and his conduct, performance, and devotion to duty reflect his allegiance to the highest standards of military service. Now therefore, the House of Representatives of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania lauds Sergeant First Class Sean McGuire on his well-deserved honor, affirmatively states that he stands as a role model worthy of emulation, which is in every future success and happiness, and directs that a copy of this citation, sponsored by the Honorable Tina Pickett, be transmitted to Sergeant First Class Sean McGuire. Sean here. I'd just like to thank the First Friday Committee for putting this evening together, especially Jay Corey and uh, Pat Hoover. Can we please have a round of applause for them? And I also have a special guest I'd like to introduce here, uh, former Mayor Richard Snell, who was a World War II veteran, he gave 20 years of service to the borough. Uh, please give him a round of applause. Now, Sean, I'd like to present the key to Tawanda Borough to you. You're a definitely deserving hometown hero. Congratulations. How's everybody doing? Good. This is quite an honor, honestly. Like, I don't really even know what to say. A couple months ago, I was asked to, if it was, if ever it would be possible for me to be the Grand Marshal of this parade, come home and take part in the ceremony and I was, I was like kind of flabbergasted, didn't really know what to say. Wanted to say yeah, but it was, you know, like, wow, me? Why? You know, what did I do? Just a dude serving in the army, you know, nothing, I don't really want to say nothing, like nothing special, just a dude serving in the army, but I'm absolutely honored to be able to be the Grand Marshal of the parade, get a key to the city, it's a pretty big deal, and I'm really glad my daughter got to participate in this with me. That was pretty cool that she could sit next to me and do that. And uh, also, I want to thank Jay Corey because it was his kind of his. He spearheaded the operation, he got it going. He got Tina, uh, Tina Pickett to write a letter to my battalion commander, who, you know, like kind of off the record, I asked him if, if this was going to be possible. And in battalion commander language, he said no. And uh, and I was like, well, sir, don't be surprised if you get a letter in the mail from somebody saying otherwise, because I don't know how many people are out here familiar with military workings, but if you get a letter from uh, anybody that's politically related. You don't say no. Anything congressional is just bad news. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, thanks to Jay and Tina Pickett and Garrett Miller. Still can't believe he's the mayor, but <laughs> we won't get on that one yet. <laughs> anyway, thanks for everybody showing up. I really appreciate it. it was, it's just a great honor for me to be here. Thank you. At this time, I'd also like to have a moment of silence for all the servicemen serving our country right now and can't be here. Let's get them all home safely. At this time, uh, Jay Corey has uh, 100 copies of the Declaration of Independence to pass out if anybody would like to. Thank you.
Thank <laughs> you. 